On April 2, 1993, Philip Morris announced that they had decided to shift Marlboro's corporate strategy. Marlboro's strategy was to build a long-term profitability in a highly valuable and price-sensitive market. Out of the four major steps, most eye-catching was a major promotional cut in price of Marlboro. Marlboro had roughly cut 40 cents a pack. This move expected to reduce earning of Philip Morris's most profitable unit by 40%. The stock market reaction to this announcement was swift. Philip Morris's stock price had declined from $64 to $49. And also due to ripple effect, stock prices of other major consumer good company also decreased. One of the major factor influencing the price cut was increasing sales of private label cigarettes. The price of premium players like Marlboro had more than tripled between 1980 to 1992. Price difference of $1 between premium and discount players had increased sales of discount players. In fact Marlboro's market share had declined to 22% and was projected to decline to 18%. At that point of time, new brands were entering the cigarette market and not only that, these brands were able to create their own brand equity with customers by delivering great value. By announcing this price cut, Philip Morris was able to woo back many customers to Marlboro. Within nine months of price drop, its market share increased to almost 27%. An important and enduring lesson emerged from Marlboro episode. Although strong brands can command premium prices, they cannot command excessive price premiums. Thanks for watching for more such content. Stay tuned to The Marketing Layman.